All right, so I'm going to show you what the John boat looks like when I'm up at the bow and how the long tail mud motor is at the back of the water or back of the boat in the water and how I have it uh, set up. So right now, the way that it's set up, it is completely out of the water. So for me, it's a little too short. I normally like that, that skeg at the bottom of the water. But the one thing that'll trick you is that when I go to step in the back and I'm sitting in the back of the boat, that's touching in the water. That's how I like it. That's perfect right there where it's at because the prop isn't in the water, but the skeg is. But I want it like this when I'm up at the bow. So I need to let this tiller handle up so the prop will go down. So I need to make my loop here a little bigger. So that way it'll allow it to come up a little more. So when I'm at the back or when I'm at the front here, that should be in the water. That way it'll stop the back end of the boat from leafing around like a I picture like a, a leaf on the water and a wind will blow it and it'll spin and turn and do all kinds of things. So when I'm up at the top with the trolling motor, that rear end will have like a little, um, you know the word for it, but that way it'll help keep me straight. So that way when that's not in use, it'll help keep the boat straight. That's the whole point of having it set up the way that I do. But for right now, I guess I just don't have as much weight in the boat as I normally do, and it's up out of the water, so I need to change that. But right now, my loop is too small. Just make a mental note, I'll probably need five or six inches. I'll make it a little bigger than I need, and then if I need to, I'll just uh, make a knot and shorten it if I made it too big. So I think the perfect setting for the way that I would like it is a skeg to be in the water. Nope, heavy in the sun. So for me, the perfect thing would be to have that skeg in the water, but the prop up and out. If the prop's in the water, you're adding extra drag, but having that skeg there will help keep the boat straight when you're using the trolling motor. So hopefully you like that little tip, little trick, long tail mud motors. Um, if you want a long tail mud motor, get a swamp runner. It'll save you a bunch of headache. Um, you can watch that. Uh, series up there where I tested all the tie long tail ones but for now stick with the swamp runner best on the market and then um, that's a good little trick just to know why I have it set up that way for this I have a floor so I just have this here it's just like a little half cleat and then I have this just tied in a circle and just a big old loop so that way I can easily take it on and off keeps the motor straight now when I go into the ramp or if I'm in a very heavy area with boats I'll turn that tail around put it inside the boat and I'll just use the trolling motor and that way it keeps my profile small and I can maneuver in between boats if it's very hectic if I don't want that extra length added to the boat so you are able to change some things that tilapia keeps scaring me. Um, so that's what I do. Take what you need and uh, make your boat your own. Thanks for watching. This is JT Gatoring.